I started teaching uh, approximately in 1982, 83. What we're trying to do is just get more about personal development, finding yourself, and using martial arts as a catalyst for that, where they can do that with themselves. Self-esteem for anybody, especially children, is a successful moment. That moment when they can uh, get their first stripe on their belt, that moment when they pass that first belt test, that's self-esteem for them. That moment when they get that high five after completing a kick or a punch or something. Instead of telling them what we don't want, we tell them how to do it or what we're asking for. And that and it enables them to find that within themselves. That's much better. Cool. How's everybody doing today? Yes, ma'am. Developing that character at such a young age, I think it's important to give them that direction that they need. And it's something I really work on with the children here, talking with each other, talking to me, getting that social interaction. And then within that, they learn those things, and we just give them basically guidelines. Yes. Hi. Hi. Aggression is a good thing if it's used correctly. In martial arts and sport, it's appropriate behavior only, so we teach them how to use it properly just like anything else that we give a child. We need, we need to teach them the safe way, the proper way, the best way. One, one, two. One. So they need a place to get away and just walk away from all that, a place to just let go where they don't have to think so hard, they can just be. And uh, I give them that when they get on the mat, it's their time and uh, I make it all about them and I watch for that when I bow on a class. I ask how their day went, I want to know what's going on, what happened. And I get to know him as a person, and when I get to know him as a person, I can tell that something's going on, something's bothering him. And some days I just can see that these guys just need a break. They need to just kick some targets, but I have to think about too much or technique. Am I doing this right? Am I doing it wrong? Am I, you know, not worrying about pleasing someone else at that moment. They just need that moment in time, just like an adult does, just to let go and unwind without any restrictions. Turn right down below. Coming into class, learning to do technique, learning to do that stance right, where that punch or that kick, getting that kata down that next one, and, and just learning a higher level skills. And with that, and when they do it successfully, confidence is built and it's developed. I see it so much. I see children walk in here with their heads down and so forth. A few months later, I see them smiling, looking at me, walking with their heads up, uh, feeling good about themselves, having some self pride in themselves. And that's really where self confidence comes in. So I want everybody to come in and have a free trial class, see the plays, see how we teach, see how we interact, whether it be a child or an adult, and, and make sure this is going to be the right environment. I want to see everybody having a good time, laughing, I like a loose, relaxed atmosphere, but still there's guidelines and everybody understands where they are and what to follow.